Okay, now we're going to look at uh, quartiles, uh, the five-point summary, and box plots. So consider the same set of data we had before and find the first and third quartiles, five-point summary, and draw the corresponding box plot. Uh, so here's the data set, same as before, and <clears throat> first thing we need to do is sort the data, and again, I like to list it vertically, so I've done that. Then over here, the first quartile, you can think of it as the median of the lower half of the data, the smaller values. Uh, it's also would be called the 25th percentile, P25. The third quartile, Q3, would be the median of the upper or upper half of the data or the higher values. Uh, it's also known as the 75th percentile. So because we're looking at the lower half and the upper half of the data, we need to sort the data, which we've already done. Um, the median itself, it would be, um, if you were looking at it as a quartile, it would be the second quartile or the 50th percentile, but rarely do we talk about it in those terms. We always call it the median. Um, and then we'll look at percentiles in general uh, in the next section. So uh, we can find the 20th percentile or the 40th percentile or the 90th percentile. Um, and we'll talk about those in the next section. So Q1 is the median of the lower half of the data. So I, I separated the data and remember that 14 here was the middle value of the data and <clears throat> because we have an odd number of data values. If we didn't, I would just draw a line in the middle of the data and then I would look at all the values on top. In this case, there are seven. So that again is odd. And so the median of those seven values in this case is nine. So Q1 is nine. And then on the upper half of the data, same thing. There are seven values, and the middle value there would be the median of those values. In this case, Q3 is 19. So Q1 is 9. Q3, 19. Now the five-point summary is finding five numbers, including the first and third quartile, but then adding in the minimum data value, the maximum data value, and the median of the data value. So we can just, as long as we've sorted the data, the, mi the minimum value is the first one, in this case two. The maximum is the last one, 29. The median, again, is the middle value or the average of the two values in the middle if you have an even number of data values, which we don't. So our median, again, is 14. And we just found our quartiles, the median of the top half, which was 9, and Q3, the median of the bottom half, which was 19. So that's what we call our five-point summary, the min, Q1, the median, Q3, and the maximum. Then we can represent that graphically with what's called a box plot, or sometimes a box and whisker plot. Um, whenever you're doing anything graphically, we want to set up a scale. So I've already drawn a scale in here with equal spacing, and the scale needs to go from something as small as the smallest value you want to graph to maybe something at least as big as the largest value you want to graph. So because our minimum is two, I'm going to start our scale at zero. Um, and I'll have my scale go up by five. So this would be zero. I don't have to put all the values in here, but if I go over two, that'll be 10. That'll be 20 and 30. I wouldn't really need this last tick mark because I only need to get up to 29. So now to draw my box plot or my box and whisker plot, um, you know, it's one of these things where the order in which you do it sort of helps us understand how to do it. So we first find our minimum. Uh, my pen is being a little bit weird. So let me set it. Okay, find our minimum, which is two right about there. Draw it above my scale. 
find our maximum, which is 29, so a little less than 30, right about there. And we draw a little hash mark next to each. I don't have to even put 2 and 29 in there. They're, they're over here. Oh, you can't see my hand. Um, well, on the screen, they're over here um, listed already, so I don't have to list them. Um, but I put a tick mark at 2 and a tick mark at 29, and then I draw the line between them. Next thing I want to do is find my Q1, which is 9, and I draw a bit of a bigger tick mark. So I go down, I'm going to draw a box here from that 9 over to the mat, the median, uh, excuse me, from 9, Q1, over to Q3, which is 19. And I'm going to make a rectangle there. So that rectangle encloses the values from Q1 over to Q3. And you know, 19, I should have probably gone a little farther, but that's OK. And then the median here is 14, so I draw a, middle, a line right at where the median would be, down the middle of this rectangle, like that. That's my box plot. If I want, I could put the numbers in. You don't need to, but this would be 2, 9, 14. 19 and 29. And maybe here I would put them in because, you know, I have this maybe too big of a space in between here and here, 19 and 20. Maybe not. It looks pretty good. Um, in any case, that's my box plot and my five point summary and my discussion about quartiles. Uh, next, we'll look at percentiles. And stop the recording. Sorry. Okay. Come 